So about a year ago, I made this video called Sonitubbies is a Broken Masterpiece, which basically had me dissecting and analyzing each game in the series. And since May has been my most popular video on the channel. However, I have noticed that throughout the year, people have commented wondering if I'm gonna make a sequel. And while I'm still debating whether I should make a second part to that video, what I can do in the meantime is look at some Sonitubbies fan stories. Yeah, so a huge part of Sony Tubbies I forgot to talk about was the community and fan videos surrounding the franchise. While not every video is the exact same, to put it simply, a big portion of Sony Tubbies content is interesting to say the least. And today, I want to watch some of the various fan stories that people have made up in this game, and see if the stories are any good. Oh, and a quick disclaimer, this is not some kind of video of me hating towards the channels that make these videos, so please stay moral and don't witch hunt anyone that is shown in this video. Right, so without further ado, Let's take a look at some Slinny Tubby's fan videos. So the first video we'll be watching is Poe's life, where Poe is heartbroken because she's being cheated on, or something like that. Basically, the video starts with Poe walking, and then she sees Tinky Winky and Lala holding hands, and then she runs away. Yeah, so this is a fanship video in case it wasn't obvious. So shortly after, Poe gets angry and now her priority is to kill Lala. Jesus, okay. Not even a second later when Lala is seen walking, Poe grabs a knife and stabs her. We're not even at the 30 second mark yet. As Lala collapses to the ground, Poe is about to strike her once more, when all of a sudden Tinky Winky comes in and stops her from committing assault. But then he assaults her and Poe runs away shortly after. As she's crying on a gray wall, Guardian comes in and cheers her up by looking deeply into her soul. Wait, so what's going on with Dipsy in this situation? If the beginning of this video implies that Poe and Tinky were originally together, this means that Dipsy was either single or was also being cheated on by Lala. Well, it doesn't really matter though, since the next scene Dipsy gives Lala a flower and then they kiss. Wow, so kawaii! Tinky Winky sees this and is bummed out, but ultimately is confronted by Poe and apologizes. I'm sorry! No. It's you, I'm sorry. After that, they then kiss while Walter White stares in the background. And, and then it ends. Well then, that was interesting. Looking at the video itself, it appears that it was made by Flora Slendy, a channel that also seems to do more Sony Tubby's content. And miraculously, the video has over 8 million views with 71,000 likes. Now that's impressive. My most popular video is only 1.4 million views. It's also worth noting that this was made before Sony Tubby's 3 was created, with Sony Tubby's 3 coming out in August later that year, with other Sony Tubby fanships the channel made also dating back to 2016. So to my knowledge, this might be the very first channel that's created a fanfic for this game. Naturally, being a strange video, the comments are even stranger. Tinky is supposed to be gay. Wait, Dipsy's a girl? All of this is like a steel story. I'm still wondering who Guardian's gonna be married to. Well, he doesn't really care. But yeah, that was Pose Life 1. If you think that the story was over, however, well, it appears that there's also a Pose Life 2 and 3 after this. Pose Life 2 is much more longer, and basically the story is that Guardian tampers with a custard, so Tinky Winky gets mad and tries to kill him because of it, and also assaults Poe once more. Meanwhile, with all that drama, Poe gets kidnapped by that shadow figure that you see in the Lala's dream map, where he explains his backstory of how he also had a crush on Poe years ago. But Tinky Winky was already dating her, so he tried to kill him. But naturally, Poe stops him, and now he's trying to get revenge years later? What? A huge problem I've noticed with this video is that the text is just too short. Whenever they talk, the text only appears for about a second at best, resulting in me trying to pause constantly to figure out what they were saying. Uh, the Tinky Winky is not- oh, but why? He'll kill you. He, it feels very good, and if someone collect, he will be- what? It also doesn't help that they talk in broken English, since the creator of this channel is from Russia looking closely at the about page. Oh, and in Poe's Life 3, which is still in development, Tinky Winky and Shadow Guy are friends, and Poe is pregnant. Um, but yeah, these videos kind of exist. It's pretty much what you would expect from any regular fanfic. And to be honest, watching this video kind of brought me back to a time where I would watch FNAF SFMs with stories similar to this. So in the most unorthodox way, it's kind of nostalgic watching these. But ignoring that, the videos are just bad, plain and simple. They're weird, have broken English, and have very strange stories to them. There's not really much else to say in this video, so let's just move on. The next video we'll be looking at is Werewolf Tinky Winky Goes on a Rampage. Made by Darren Yuns, the description just simply reads, Subscribe for more animations. Yay XD. 
So the lore of this video, if it wasn't obvious, is that Tinky Winky turns into a werewolf upon being nighttime. But instead of it being like the Tinky Tank from the actual game, it it's just a werewolf, nothing else. The next scene, Guardian is collecting custards like a true Chad, but then is confronted by Tinky Winky and gets attacked. Oh God, what is he doing? Jesus Christ. Yeah, I forgot to mention this video had a gore warning. So after beating up Tinky Winky, the Guardian realizes that the flashlight is covered in blood. Oh shoot. It got tainted with blood and accidentally turns on the flashlight in his eyes, resulting in him also turning into a werewolf too? Yeah, that's how logic works. So now Guardian, in his edgy cool werewolf form, confronts Tinky Winky and, well, kills him. And then he jokingly says he can collect custards again. Now I can finally go pick up some more custard. Wow. Well then, that video was brutal. So, in conclusion, the moral of the story is don't mess with Walton White. Looking at the video on YouTube, it appears that it's gone over 4 million views with 35,000 likes. And the channel itself is prone to also making other werewolf content. So it's not a surprise that Sony Tubby's video also includes werewolves. But other than that, there isn't really much else to talk about in this video. It's just like any other Sony Tubby story, but now with werewolves. I will give it credit for having a decent animation flow, and the comments are, once again, pretty weird as usual. But yeah, let's just go on to the next video. The third video we'll be playing is a Gotcha Life video. Wow. Looking at the video, this one's just under 80,000 views with over 1,000 likes, with the title saying it all happened after a dark night. And obviously this being Gotcha Life, you just know this video is going to be peak storytelling content. The video opens up with a Sinitubby's SFM that was stolen from another channel. We're already off to a good start. After that, a title card plays, saying that this took place five weeks ago. The story begins with Tinky Winky and Lala kissing because why not? After that, Tinky Winky has to go exploring because he needs to find Dipsy or something. So then, Tinky Winky walks away at 3 FPS, while Guardian was listening in the background, only pretending to sleep. So I heard you're having trouble sleeping. I mean, I don't think any normal human sleeps in a standing up pose, but hey. whatever. Once Tinky Winky finds Dipsy, he suddenly bolts at him, and not even five seconds later, Lala already says it's been a while and decides to go into the forest with Poe. Hmm, this kind of reminds me of something. When they start walking, it's suddenly daytime and Tinky Winky is stalking them. I feel weird. Yeah, me too. Do you think someone's watching? Hey, it's okay. I just miss Dipsy. <laughs> We have to go! So after being chased by Purple Guy, they go back to their home base and try to convince Tinky to stop being a monster. He starts shaking in 2 FPS, but then Dipsy comes in and they both attack the group. The end. Going down into the comment section, I managed to find a conversation between the owner and some dude wanting to know where he lives. Where are you from? That's personal information that I can't tell. Lithuanian? I'm not telling if I'm just gonna ask where I'm from, I'm gonna block you and make sure you stay off my channel. No, I mean I just saw Darius' name in your nick and thought you're from Lithuania, but if not okay then I'm sorry. I think you spelled gunner wrong, it's gunner. I know, but that's how I say it. Now, believe it or not, this is actually a part one to a series this guy made, but I'm not really gonna go in depth with any of the other parts, as there's like 10 of them. Just know that the newer parts of the series have weird wolf characters, and then the Teletubbies turn into humans, and they talk to the wolves, and also, the rest of the episodes are just shipping Lalan Guardian. Is it like, what? <laughs> so yeah, let's just go on to the next video. Alright, so I'm with Ian, and um... We'll see, while the animations and stories are pretty dang good, I think what's even better is the freaking Slony Tubby's memes out of it and the texting stories. So um, if we search up texting story and like text and stuff, you get these like whole videos that are just like dedicated to messaging yourselves. And it's weird. So um, yeah. Lala, was it you? Uh, I'll do it. Uh, why would I need them? I'm just. Oh. I'm just asking. IT WAS ME, YOU FUCKTARS! <laughs> Why? You know those are important to me. Uh, it's because I was hungry. WHAT DID YOU DO?! I kinda did something. Like... Uh... SPILL THE TEA! Alright, I'm good. Wait a minute, what is this? Wait, Wait, what's the problem? What? No, uh, Wait, what? Uh, 30, 40, one it's hour, two hours. hours. Look at the name of the, the person who made the channel, too. 
That is a, that's Leonardo a and Dan TDM lover, leader, and queen of TMND. <laughs> Oh, believe it or not, that was probably the most normal meme. Oh, I can look at the comments soon. Came back to this after two years, and it's so nostalgic! Oh, no, the Teletubbies I, gone, I, but they will always be in our hearts forever. <laughs> what am I even looking at? It's disgusting! Why are there 30 people on the screen? No! Get that shit off my screen! Why are they talking to me? And that's all the stories that I'll be looking at today. So, like I said previously a few minutes ago, while these videos have weird and absurd storylines, it kind of brings me back to when I was in a FNAF phase and looked at various FNAF SFMs with similar stories to these. So for that reason, these subpar videos are kind of nostalgic to me, as well as having a lot of nostalgia in general for Sony Tubbies as a whole, playing it all the way back in 2018, back in its prime. But yeah, these videos were very interesting. Oh, and I also forgot to mention, I want to thank you all so much for getting this channel to 100k subscribers, especially so quickly. It's kind of crazy to think that back in February, I only had just 3,000 subscribers. I never would have guessed that I was able to get this channel to 100k. So again, thank you everyone for getting this channel to where it is today, and I'll see you sometime in the future. Goodbye. You fucking nerd! Die! You little bitch! Oh god, I got flinging into the air!